The raging spread of the coronavirus and the global economic fallout for measures to contain it have created a gaping demand for a cure. Although no proven cure has emerged, the Center for Plant Medicine Research says it has received more than 100 samples of traditional herbal medication to be tested for COVID-19 treatment. In the following report, we explore if traditional herbal practitioners hold the key to finding a cure. Traditional herbal medicine no doubt plays a vital healthcare role in many communities in Africa. According to the World Health Organization, some 70% of patients in Ghana use herbal medicine. The neem tree, hibiscus tea, popularly referred to as sobolo, moringa, among other herbal remedies, have been used by many to cure different types of ailments. Despite this, it has received low consideration from medical experts, demanding more scientific evidence, especially with the outbreak of coronavirus. News of Madagascar developing its own herbal treatment for COVID-19 has been received with skepticism. Aren't there any known herbal remedies to fight COVID-19? Can traditional herbal medicine fight the virus? And what is Ghana's own contribution towards finding a treatment for COVID-19? These questions led me to seek answers at the Center for Plant Medicine Research at Mampong Ikuyapim in the Eastern Region. Long before Orthodox medicine, our forefathers used to take herbal products to cure and treat different forms of ailments. As the world races to find a cure for COVID-19, who knows, treatments could come from here at the Center for Plant Medicine Research. The Center for Plant Medicine Research was established in 1975 as a result of the dream and vision of Dr. Okwampofo, a renowned allopathic medical practitioner. The center's vision is to make herbal medicine a natural choice for all. So what has been the center's contribution in finding treatments for COVID-19? The president said we should get a treatment for the COVID-19. So because of that, we also decided to do our research into these areas. And um, we have done that. Our team of researchers have been on it. And what we are looking at is to make sure that we have treatment for dealing with the symptoms that um, the COVID-19 um, um, comes up with. And also making sure that um, we will see how we can boost the immune system because we know that when you have COVID-19, your immune system becomes weaker. And we know with a strong immune system, you are able to withstand it and then you get healthier. The pandemic has revealed some of the weaknesses in our healthcare system. So we are also looking at making sure that we build our capacity. At the center, all submitted herbal products go through detailed and thorough laboratory analysis to ensure that the products meet the highest quality and safety standards and that they are wholesome for human consumption. Research takes um, some time and we want to make sure that the type of product that we come out is something that is good. Remember that we want to gain the highest recognition. And we do that in partnership with other people. And one thing that I would like to draw your attention is that before any herbal product can be manufactured and sold, you have to get approval from the Food and Drug Authority. So whatever we are doing, we are collaborating with them to ensure that what we bring out is something that will be acceptable. We have over 100 products that have been brought here for testing. And when you bring your products here for testing, it has to go through some processes. First, if we want to find out about the safety of it and we take it to our pharmacology you know, department, we have to make sure that you know, there are some I mean, analysis that will be done that will involve, let's say we have some animals that we use. So if you have a lot of products coming at the same time, we will be stretched in terms of what we have to do. So here, that is when it comes to. So we just want to make sure that we will be in a position to scale up our production. These herbal products here in the laboratory could be possible remedies for COVID-19. And they also have another batch of products purposely for the COVID uh, management or treatment. 
are received from various herbalists. In fact, we have received over 100 or such products. We're working on them batch by batch. And some of them are promising, some of them too are not too good. We are not done with all the 100 years, but I have looked at about 50 something. And then we have around 10% doing well. Mm -hmm. Which is even enough. Even if you get one, it's good. Uh, they are showing antibacterial activity. They are showing very strong other antimicrobial activity. So we have to move on to the next level using the other viruses or the same SARS virus. Or after this stage, we write a report, give it to the person or clients or the manufacturer, and it sends to the FDA. The FDA will consider it and give the appropriate certificate for it. Other products, though, do not make the mark. So you can see, called, each one is one bacterium, or one organ that has multiplied severally to form this colony, and which is what we call the colony forming unit. Now this is what we will count, so you can see she's counting them. And some of they are too much that they form a smear, or they form together. So we we'll count this, and we we'll estimate how many they are. If the count is more than, per the dilution that we did, if it's more than uh, 50,000 of this in a meal, then we say that it has not passed, it has failed. The centre is also engaging other stakeholders and partners to explore research opportunities in the fight against COVID-19 using herbal medication. Hopefully, with further clinical trials, Ghana's herbal medicine will make news as possible cure or treatment for COVID-19 Poshigabo, TV3 News, Mampong Mukiapem, Eastern Region.